Lastly, we had great success with this campaign. Entrepreneurs who ended all fund the process really enlightening. Entrepreneurship can be a lonely journey, uh, and many of them found the questionnaire to be particularly helpful because it helped them focus their thinking around their businesses and then its consequent growth. Those who made it through to the final and whose businesses ended up being profiled had some amazing results. There were possibilities of franchise opportunities, funders had stepped forward, uh, and in a number of instances, joint ventures were suggested and then a number of proposals came from it as well. Through Entrepreneur SA, can you imagine speaking to say six, seven hundred thousand people who might well speak to let's say at least one other person, so call it one and a half million people. Can you imagine the impact of one and a half million decision makers, consumers, suppliers, potential staff, funders, joint venture partners, or anything else out there caring about you and your business. The doors that could open for you are what we want to do in order to move you to the next level. So make the effort, come on board, complete the form as far as you can and register. Hopefully, we'll be speaking on air next. So with entrepreneurs say there are certain criteria, in fact four. The first is you need to be a small medium enterprise. Well, what does that mean? In the first case, it means that you've been trading for 24 months or more. Not registered 24 months ago, but trading for 24 months or more. Does it restrict your turnover? Well, let's say you need to be doing between 500,000 Rand and 150, 200 million Rand a year. That qualifies as an SME. Next, you need to be involved in either job creation or innovation. In some cases, both. Job creation is easy to look at. If you had the help you needed to get to the next level, will you be able to double or treble the number of people you employ in the next two, three, four years? If the answer is yes, you qualify. However, if innovation is what drives your business, does that mean that it's a new invention? No, not necessarily. What it does mean is that you are doing something out there that's different to all your competitors. In fact, there's a very strong argument to show that innovation and growth are closely linked. And that brings me to the last of the criteria. Will you be a growth company? If you believe that with the help that we could provide, you will grow and you could double in size over the next three, four years, come on board because you qualify. When you complete the four, there's a section there that says, hey, what help do you need in order to get to the next level? Think carefully about it and answer it completely. Do you need funding? Do you need suppliers? Do you need staff? Do you need skills? Do you need some help with marketing and advertising? Let us know clearly what you're looking for so that when we meet, I can engage with you on any one of those three or four issues and make sure that we crystallize it, get it clearly understood, and I can give you the punt that hopefully will get you to the next level. Lastly, what does it cost you? Well, if I look at the performance of the entrepreneurs who came on board last year, and I look at the cost, and I look at their returns, I can safely say it was the best investment they ever made. For 20 minutes, close to two million people will hear about you, your business, and what they can do to help you get to the next level. I look forward to meeting you and working with you.